You want to know what this thing is? It's nothing. Just a poem I wrote. You want to hear it? Really? Yeah? I'll assume that painful groan means yes. Once upon a time, there was a nonprofit called New Media Rights. They helped all the artists with their legal problems so they could sleep at night. The end. So as you know from the previous videos, I have the copyright to that poem as soon as I write it. I bet you're wondering what I can do with that copyright, right? The video right before this gave you an overview of six of the rights you get as a copyright holder. This video will go into a lot more detail about those. Let's do this! Right number one. You can reproduce the original work. That poem I had on the piece of paper, even if I gave you that piece of paper, I'm still the only one with the right to photocopy it. Another example would be if you're a photographer. Only you have the right to post your picture online. If someone downloads your picture and puts it on their own website, that can potentially be copyright infringement. If you burned a copy of a music CD and sold it, that may be infringement. Or post an entire song off a CD onto YouTube, that could potentially be infringement too. In conclusion, this first right makes the copyright owner the only person who can copy a work. Right number two, you can prepare new versions and adaptations of your original copyrighted work. Changes, additions, and variations to a work that you make are called derivative works. If someone adapts your play into a movie, that's a derivative work. If you took someone's existing song and then added another verse to it, that's a derivative work. Only you have the power to adapt your work into something else or revise it, unless you authorize someone else to do so. That said, people can reuse your work if it meets the requirements of fair use. Fair use is the reason why movie parodies like Airplane, Scary Movie, Dance Flick, and Meet the Spartans can exist. Don't worry, we have some videos about fair use if you want to know more about that. But for now, let's move on. Right number three, you can publicly distribute your copyrighted work. As a copyright owner, you have the exclusive right to control when, why, and how your work is distributed. If you're a playwright, nobody can perform your play without permission. If you're a writer, no one can post your novel on the internet without your permission. If you are a musician, nobody can post mp3s of your music online without permission. And again, fair use exceptions apply. People can distribute part of or even all your work without permission if they meet the requirements of fair use. But there's one more limitation. It's called the first sale doctrine. Basically, once your work is actually distributed, anyone has the right to redistribute that specific copy. If you recorded an album, you have the sole right to sell your CD, but the person who buys that CD is totally allowed to listen to it, sell it to someone else, or even let a friend borrow the physical copy. Number four, you can publicly perform your copyrighted work. As a copyright owner, only you have the right to publicly perform your work. A public performance means that it happens in a place open to the public, or anywhere where there's a lot of people outside of a normal circle of family and friends. Make sense? Now, let's pretend you're a playwright some more, because that's funny to me. Imagine you, a playwright. <laughs> anyway, imagine you're <laughs> a playwright. You have the legal right to control who performs your play in public. Not that I would, but if I wanted to stage your play in the park with all my friends as the cast members, that would be considered copyright infringement. Now, if I wanted to stage your play in my house with my friends, that's a private performance and I'm allowed to do that. That performance can be public if I recorded it and then put it on TV. But that's way too much work for your play, no offense. Alternatively, think of it this way. If I took a copyrighted photo and put it on my website, I might be violating the photographer's copyright because my website is a public place. But if I printed it out, and put it in my room as a decoration, it's private. I'm sorry I made fun of your play, but now that you've forgiven me, why don't you donate some money and keep these videos alive? 
You can donate on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org. See ya!